Hi everyone, this is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and today I am back with another session on how to optimize Tableau workbook performance. In our previous session, I discussed about data source filter and extract filters and today I am going to talk about how to use context filters to improve Tableau workbook performance. So let's get started by understanding what filters are and how do they work in a Tableau workbook. So whenever we apply any filter in a workbook, it accesses all the rows in the data set. So we can apply different types of filter like dimension filter, categorical filter, um, measure filters, dimension filters, and we can use any of these as a context filters on a view to minimize the number of records. So just think of context filter as being an independent filter. Any other filter that we use are defined as dependent filter because they process only the data that passes through the context filter. So let's let's try to understand first what is a context filter. So as you can see in this spreadsheet, for example, we are saying in our data set we have total 100,000 records. And in that 100,000 records, we have the data set for Australia country, US, Japan, China, and Europe. So for each country, we have a data set of 20,000 rows. So what that means is, in terms of context filter, we can apply the filter on a country, for example. And there, we use Australia as a dimension filter so we will say country Australia as a dimension filter and we will select that. And then we can use that data set as a context filter. So whenever we run a query or a calculation, so instead of looking for all the rows, which is 100,000 in this case, with context filter, it will only look at those 20,000 rows. So that will improve the performance because whenever we run the query, it will not go back and evaluate all the 100,000 rows. It will only run those queries for 20,000 rows, which will be much quicker. So where can we use this context filter? So if we are using a lot of filters and have a large data source, the queries can be really slow. So you can set one or more context filter in that case. So in this case, for example, we can set it on Australia or any other country to show the data only for that country, which is 20,000 rows. And on top of that, you can run any number of filters, which will only run the queries for those 20,000 records. So let's now see how we can create that filter in Tableau Workbook. So as you can see here, I have already connected the sample superstore data set, and currently I am showing the sales by subcategory in the descending order. And let me bring subcategory or maybe let's say category into filter shelf. And by default, let's say in this case, we select technology. And when we select technology, we only see those four subcategories under that, which are sorted in the descending order. So we have already filtered out the data set with uh, category two technology. So when we right click on this one, we can just click on add to context. So what it is doing now, so it has just created a subset from the sample superstore data set on a category technology. So as I shown you earlier, so in this case, the total records were 100,000 and Australia was the country and we created a subset out of 100,000 to 20,000 for Australia country. And in the sample superstore data set, we did the similar thing, but in this case, we created a context filter on technology. Now the subset is really low in number of records as compared to the overall data set in the sample superstore data set. So let's, let's try another thing. So let me say number of records. Let's me bring number of records here. So we have 900, 9,994 records in total. 
So if I bring categories in here and I just select technology, I will just get 1847 records. So in this case, I have set this as a context filter and whatever calculation I do on top of it, it will only run on this many number of records. So let's go back to this one. And if I want to do profit ratio, for example, and I want to show the profit ratio and let's, let's say I bring that into the colors. That's another calculation which is happening on top of it. And we can, we can do some other calculations or other dimension filters we can bring in. So every time we bring any additional field or any calculation or even let's say I want to sort by city or I want to filter it by city. So right now I will just select all of it and if I show it as a filter and I select all of it and if I change any of these values it is only running on those 1800 records not on the 9000 records so that way it will be really quicker and if we want to remove the context filter and want to run the query on all the records we will just right click on it and say remove from context so I will bring it back again and I want to talk about how it is different from data source filter or extract filters so basically we are bringing entire data set into our worksheets in context filter case but when we are working on individual sheets we are applying the context filter and it's bringing only the required data set which we need which is of our interest whereas in uh, data source filters we are applying the filter at the data source level so we are not bringing the data at all in our workbook whereas in this case in this particular sheet I just wanted technology but maybe in this sheet instead of technology I wanted office supplies so we already have the data set but at individual sheet level we are increasing the performance which is really beneficial when we have a really big number of data sets. So that's how context filters are applied and removed. So how we can use the context filter to speed up the performance. So first of all using the context filters that significantly reduce the data set is much better than applying multiple context filters. So as I mentioned earlier in the data set here so if the context filter doesn't reduce the size of the data by one tenth or more it's actually not recommended to use context filter because the performance of computing the context will be really slow so in this case it is reduced quite a, it, it is almost like um, by one tenth so not exactly actually it's it's by 20 percent so it's by 80 percent it's reduced by 80 percent in this scenario which is pretty good but if you can um, see the reduction in the number of rows by more than 80 percent definitely use context filter and it is highly recommended to use one filter if possible creating multiple context filter will also cause performance issues and always use a context filter after your data modeling is complete. Changes in the data model such as converting a dimension to measure requires recomputing the context which will take more time. Third point is to set the necessary filters for the context and create the content before adding fields to other shapes. Doing this first will help the queries to run when you drop fields or other shells much faster because we have already uh, created the subset of the total data set so it will be much faster in that case also if you want to set a context filter on a date you can use a continuous date format however using date pins like year of date or context filter on discrete dates are very useful so these are the few tips on context filter and how to use it 
to improve and optimize the tablet performance. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and will use these techniques to improve your tablet performance. For any queries or questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will try to get back to you as, as soon as possible. Stay tuned for more videos and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.